Is there anybody watching you at the moment, talking to me? Yes. Where whereabouts are they? All over the country. Are they in there? Yeah. If you have got about 40p or 45p, will you buy me a Valentine's card about that size? And don't don't sign it because there's a girl on the 30 bus in Clontarf, and I'd love her to send me one, and I might think it's from her if you send me one and don't sign it. She's got long blonde hair and she never looks at me on the bus. And I sit behind her and I look at the back of her head and I go, <clears throat> I remember particularly when I was 11 one year, I was sent 13 Valentine cards by the same boy who was in class with me, whom I absolutely hated. And I knew, in fact, he didn't even try his disguise as handwriting. <laughs> they were all the same. And that was about the most I ever got. But they've, they've dwindled very much in the last few years. Do you send them yourself? I do. I just happen to have one with me, Angus. This is one you like. Uh, centrefold on the centrefold is, of course, your little friend. Oh, that's the sort of ones I like. I like funny ones. I don't like these, you know, these sloppy, smoochy ones. I don't like those. I like funny ones, you know, lots of the animals and things. They're always good. The ones I used to get were very small in number and uh, always from the wrong people. The actual layout of them, I can't remember the usual thing about uh, if you... What's the famous one? Darling, if you love me, do as I desire. Soak yourself in paraffin and sit upon the fire. <laughs> Well, the last Valentine card I got, I was very flattered. It was in a big envelope. When I opened it up, having called all my colleagues to stand behind me and see how popular I am, lads, the writing said very clearly, it's about shagging time you forgot about Valentine's Day. So I've been insulted by Valentine's Day. <laughs> you should get about one a year in a very heavily disguised hand that the husband assures me is his, but then he scurries away and, and consults the diary, so I'm not sure. But I do remember as a kid, if you turned up at school and you hadn't got a fistful of Valentine cards, you were kind of very low on the pecking order. People thought, Jesus, who's she? You know, nobody likes her. So you used to go out and buy your own and pretend you'd got a whole pile of them. It was very dishonest, really. Uh, I try very hard not to send Valentine's cards because um, I hate to give anybody the impression that I might be, as it were, keen on them because that would raise their expectations and their hopes. And anyway, they cost money and I have a religious objection to spending money on things like that. Tell me, what kind of Valentine's cards do you get? Well, um, I haven't got any yet this year. Uh, and I don't think I got any last year, uh, except maybe one. And it was very simple, nothing pretentious, none of these padded hearts with ribbons or anything like that. Not very large either. And how many would you send yourself? One. Only one. Yeah. But to tell you the truth now, I, 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 those, those Valentine cards were invented really after my time. But mind you, I, even though I lost the hair, there might be somebody, somebody that still wants to send me one. If they are, they're welcome. Has anything ever developed in your romantic life based on a Valentine card? Well, no, because, you see, I never knew. The few that I ever did get were always signed admirer or something. So you went around for weeks trying to find out who this was, and so I never, I never figured out whether the people that I met after that had anything to do with the cards or not. I don't know. Never send them either. It's too privileged to carry on for a serious current affairs presenter. Why do you think so many Irish people get involved in selling Valentine's cards? Make money, I suppose. <laughs> what sort of Valentine cards do you send yourself? Funny ones. Funny ones. So I'm actually serious about people, so I send funny ones. Why do you think people send Valentine cards in the first place? Um, I think because they basically want to get one themselves. And I think that if they realise it's that important to them and they fancy somebody else, then, you know, it's important to the other person as well. What kind of Valentine cards do you get, Don? What kind do I get? You should ask me, do I get any at all? I think probably men send a lot of Valentine's cards because Irish men are notoriously shy and retiring and reticent and they can't bring themselves to proclaim their love and passion for the woman of their desire and therefore they hide behind the shelter of an anonymous card. So they are a great social service? Indeed, indeed, yes. And for the post office as well. And it's 26 pence a time and you wouldn't sneeze at it if you were getting it. Anything else? Not at all, thank you. <laughs> Is it a two-way traffic? Do the, the girls send it to the fellas? fellas send it to the girls? Yeah. I hope she's not going to ask me who I send mine to. All right, who do you send yours to? Oh, classified information, classified information. Do you send Valentine cards yourself? Always. Even sometimes I send them to the wife. Do you send many yourself? Rarely. Uh, I'm going to send some this year, though. To whom? Oh, that'll be terrible.